Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about basics of TypeScript. In the previous video, I have discussed few problems in JavaScript. Like you can declare a variable and then you can reinitialize that variable with different set of data, right? So that might bring some um, problems in the production time, right? Or while running the test case, where we are going to give some data. If you manipulate the data, then obviously your test case is going to fail, right? We are going to fix that using TypeScript. Now, if you know JavaScript, then probably I can say that you already knew TypeScript because TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. And by the name itself, you can understand that it is going to give us some typed conditions. For example, um, as in that in JavaScript, whenever we are going to declare a variable, so you used to do like var name equal to then corresponding value right but we are not saying anywhere it's a type of string number boolean or what it is right because javascript is a dynamic programming language where it can understand the context based on the um, runtime or when you are going to declare something based on the value it can understand the variable type but in typescript we can do that explicitly or implicitly okay for example here I'm going to create a new file which should end with .ts because this TypeScript file, right? So here I'm going to say add .ts. Okay. So the file name is add here. Now here I'm going to create a variable. So var first name. So f name equal to and within double quotes, I'm going to give my name. Okay. Now here I'm going to log this. So log and here I'm going to call the variable name which is first name f name right now we cannot run the typescript file directly okay we have to compile that file or i can say we have to convert the file into javascript then we have to run the javascript that is how typescript works typescript can compile the file but it cannot run the file directly to run any file any typescript file we have to create a javascript file now to do that i'm going to use my terminal and I'm going to navigate to that folder. So seeding 02 and TS. And here I'm going to say TSC, which is TypeScript compiler. And here I'm going to give the file name, which is add.ts. Now, as soon as I enter here, you can see in the file explorer, we are going to get a new file. Okay. So it's compiling. And here you can see that we got add.js, right, which is our JavaScript file. And do not worry about this error or warnings. I can say these are coming from your dot node modules, which is from this folder. So do not worry about this. This is not related to our file. Okay. So control L to clear that. Now, if I go to this JavaScript file here, uh, here you can see that var f name equal to Kaushik and everything is same, right? Now to run this file, I have to use my node. Okay. So node. And then I have to use my JavaScript file. Please remember, I cannot run the TS file. I have to run the JavaScript file itself. Okay. So if I hit enter, obviously I will get the output. I'm going to declare the, I mean, I'm going to reinitialize the first name with a number data type. Okay. So here I'm going to say F name and here equal to two. Okay. So we are now assigning a number to a string data type, right? I mean string variable right now if i mouse over here it says that type 2 is not assignable to type string that means when we declare this as a string you cannot change the value to the number right now this is why typescript is more preferred because it gives you the types annotation okay now technically it is known as type inference that means we are declaring the variable within double quotes right so the compiler understand that okay i have a string data type so it is going to be of string and in further cases no one should change the value to a any other data type okay now i can reinitialize using double quotes as another value that is pretty much possible but i cannot change the data type for example i cannot make this as a number or i cannot make this as a boolean or object or whatever it is okay so this is what type inference in typescript okay now there is also another type which is known as type annotation okay that means let me show you that so here again i'm going to do the same thing so here 
let name equal to Kaushik. But when we are declaring, instead of that, I can say that explicitly what is the data type it should be. Okay, so that is what type annotation in TypeScript. So here we have to use colon and here we have to say what is the data type. So if I give string now, this is going to be of string. So fnem is now string. Now here, if I declare within this double quotes, it is fine. It will work for sure. Now, if I change the value to 8, then the compiler tells that Kaushik, you have declared a string as a annotation, as a data type, but you are trying to declare the value as number. That is not possible. You should not do like that. Okay. So that is why we are using the type script. It will, it will give you the typed annotation. For example, I can say if you know Java, in Java, if you declare a data type as string, you cannot assign a number to that, right? Obviously, you can do by uh, by passing or you can use the double quotes and add some plus and you can give the value that is possible, but you cannot give the direct value, right? So obviously, that is like static programming language, right? So TypeScript also typed static programming language, I can say. So here, this is the problem in JavaScript. But whereas in TypeScript, we can uh, define the va variable data type here. Okay. Let's quickly recap. So in TypeScript, we have type inference and type annotation. If we say this data type should be of this type, like using colon and followed, followed by the variable type or data type, then I can say this is of type annotation okay now here we are declaring this implicitly right so here we know that f name and here here we are declaring the value within double quotes right so the compiler is smart enough to understand that okay this is of type string so it will take that as type inference okay i hope this makes sense to you and this is pretty much clear in the next video we'll discuss about type interface okay now this is inference there is also something called type interface see you in the next one Ta -da, bye bye